So we have another iPhone over here, so it came to me with a problem, it's heating up and um, obviously discharging really quickly because the reason why phone heating up is because of consuming a lot of current. Um, so everything what I did for now is just plug it to a power manager, so <coughs> phone itself in a working condition, so it turns on, I'll shut it off right now, uh, but yeah, when we plug it to our power supply. Da -da -dum. Da -da -dum. So it's taking 128 milliampere per hour. 130 milliampere. Oh, uh, just 130 mil <laughs> milliampere. And um, so yeah, let's get closer to it, to this phone. So check this out. I freeze it. Just beautiful. It's re it's really is beautiful. So yeah, let's just wait and see where it hits up. So how we can see, it's 137 milliampers. It runs from 137 till 180. I mean, I think it's a power manager. That's what I think of. It's a power manager when it's jumping like this. But yeah, let's see. It's melting from top probably because of the window. It's closer to the window. Probably it's hotter from, like heat goes from, from the window. Opa. Check this out. It's a power manager. Yeah. Foam works. Check this out. That's a nice shot by the way. Don't you think of? Okay. So yep, let's replace your power power manager. So yeah, we're gonna start from a power manager. And because I have a couple of thoughts that this might be not a power manager, probably somewhere cap has a bad resistance and that's why power manager uh more <coughs> more current goes through power manager. Um, but yeah, anyway, we're gonna start from a power manager just to make sure. So after cleaning what we have in Oh well, yeah, I already did check on the microscope, everything is perfect. So this is old power manager and this is new power manager. So we're gonna put this guy over here. Um yeah, I just got it from an iCloud board. I already rebought it. <coughs> this iCloud board was perfectly uh, in good condition working condition um, so yeah it took me like three four minutes to reball it so that's what we're gonna do but before that let's see if our short disappeared after cleaning and everything yep we don't have any more short we don't have any more 120 milliampers um, actually let me show it on the camera that we don't have 
I've just plugged in and it's just zero zero so no more consuming no more consuming so yeah let's put just this power manager back That's is it. Power manager set it up. But you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna um, I'm gonna reflow it real quick once again. Just put a bit more flux on it. So now let's wait until it cools down and see if we, if I was short. I mean, um, if those hundred twenty milliamperes went out. Here we go, here we go, phone turning on, let's see. here we go, phone turned on, ah, display. I mean, I, I have a bad display, I know that, um, that's okay. And so, okay. And how we can see that our phone doesn't take uh, current, so let's see it. It's still taking, it's gonna go down, because phone still takes their additional files to, to boot a system. So see it's going down, going down. I mean, phone fo phone is in working condition right now, it's not that. See, it's already 56 milliamperes. 54, 56. I'm 56 milliamperes and I'm sure Wi-Fi is on on this one. So it's gonna stay on 56. And if we shut it off, which is 56 is okay. 56 milliamperes is okay. So if we shut it off and plug it back on, it doesn't take 120 milliamperes. It's just how it's supposed to be. So yes, this phone is fixed. It had a problem discharging. 
So, here we go.